I have been obsessed with Lululemon's new releases lately. I don't know if it's just me, but I have been loving all of these spring and summer colors and pieces that have been coming out at Lululemon. So of course, we have a gigantic Lululemon haul to do today. And I've been meaning to sit down and film this video for a while now, but mom life has gotten in the way. So things have accumulated over time from the past few months. So I have a lot of things to show you. I will have everything linked down below in the description. So be sure to check that out in case you're interested in shopping any of the items I mentioned in today's video. It does really help support my channel if you do decide to shop through those links. So thank you so much if you do. I will be trying everything on, of course, so you can see how it all fits. But without further ado, let's jump into this haul. <laughs> Okay, the first thing I wanna start out with here is probably one of my favorite items in this haul. And that is the two-tone canvas tote bag. It is unfortunately sold out currently, but if I see it restock, I will be posting it to my Instagram and TikTok stories. So be sure to follow me over there because then you will be notified when restocks happen. But I am obsessed with this tote bag. This is the 10 liter version and I got the Mojave tan color. And it is just actually a really great sturdy bag bag that I use as a work slash diaper bag and it fits a ton of stuff in here. So currently I have Hudson's blanket because we just switched to his convertible car seat. So now that we're not in the infant bucket seat, I just bring the blanket with me and then he can have that in the car if it's cold outside. And then I also have his hat. We have the changing mat from the new parent backpack. We got diapers and wipes and my keys and toys in here. Currently my laptop also fits in here. I have a 13 inch MacBook Air and it fits seamlessly in here. I also love that I can fit my phone in the front pocket here for easy access and it does have this like little keychain clip thing that you can attach your keys to for easy access as well. It has a ton of space in here. It has four kind of interior pockets as well as one zippered pocket and then it does have a clasp closure um, if you did want to do it up but I just love how structured this bag is too so it stands up really easily it's not tipping over and it honestly just works really well my I throw my vlog camera and stuff in here when I'm on the go and out at the mall it does work for more like day trips shorter trips I still would pack my new parent backpack if we're going for a longer trip where we need more stuff but this honestly I've been obsessed with so I just love the material of it it is kind of more of a canvasy material I don't know how well this will like clean up if it does get dirty but baby wipes are really great for spot cleaning which I always have on hand and that's kind of my plan for now but so far it hasn't gotten too dirty knock on wood but I know it's going to get a lot of use so I'm sure it'll get dirty eventually but that is the first thing that I got actually funny story about that bag I was not going to purchase it but my friends or former co-workers at the Lululemon store that I normally go to influenced me to buy it because a whole bunch of them picked it up that morning when they were merging and they fit like all of their stuff in it and like were showing me how well it fits and I was influenced so Sometimes I get influenced too and that one definitely sucked me in but I'm really glad I bought it that day because it did sell out and it's honestly a great bag so if you see it restock and you're thinking about it just get it. While we're on the topic of bags, let's chat about this one. This actually was sent to me by Lululemon. So thank you so much to Lululemon if you're watching this. This is my first piece of PR that they have ever sent me gifted. And this is the pleated shoulder bag. Again, we'll have a tan and black. So the strap here is kind of more of an elastic -y feeling and it's like ribbed in texture so it does have a little bit of give and i don't know i think it's super cute definitely a smaller bag i think maybe wouldn't double as well as a diaper bag slash work bag but maybe just a cute little going out day trip kind of thing so it does have one zippered pocket in here with like one interior pocket and then obviously the main pocket that has two zippers and is pretty simple on the inside. It does have two kind of interior pockets as well. And then just like the main space in here. Definitely a little bit more outside of my style, but I'm super excited to try and, I don't know, style this piece and wear it and see what use I'm actually going to get out of it. I still think it's super cute. It's gonna be a great little summer bag as well, just to kind of throw 
on, throw in my car, something like that. Maybe it'll be like my emergency car road trip bag. We'll see what I get use out of this for. Comment down below what you think this would make a good use for. But that is the next thing in this haul. All right, the next thing I have here is a pair of shoes. And these are the brand new Cityverse sneaker from Lululemon. They just came out with their first ever casual sneaker. And these ones also come in men's sizing. So this is their first men's shoe that they've formally made. Other than slides, I don't know if you really consider that necessarily a shoe or just more of a casual flip-flop. But I got the white color way and I am going to do a I don't know comparison first impressions review for you guys with the bliss feels the charge feels and now the city verse I don't actually have the strong feels and not like the specialized bliss feels so whatever I have for shoes I'm going to do a little comparison but this is what they look like they fit true to size so I got a six and a half in these and this is kind of what they look like. I will do like an overview try on so you can see them a little bit more in depth. But honestly, I wanted to love these, but I'm really not sure if I do. So these actually might be a return for me because I just, I don't know, I don't love the design of them. It's mostly like this part here that i don't know throws me off it looks a little weird on my foot i feel like they are super cute the material of them i'm not really sure how to describe to you either like this white part of the shoe is almost like a i want to describe it as like a styrofoam cup type texture like that's what it reminds me of but it's not a fabric it's not leather i'm not really sure how else to describe it to you and then this part kind of in the middle of the design kind of feels more of like a synthetic leather type of material it does come with two sets of laces so you can switch them out these are supposed to be tan but they kind of look gray to me and then they do have the white laces as well and then the little logos on the back of the shoe it does have a really nice tread i do find that they have good traction and grip now if you're looking for something that has like more arch support or something this is probably not the best sneaker for you they are more of a casual sneaker they are kind of chunky like air force ones i wouldn't say that they are as wide as Air Force Ones, in my opinion, they kind of have a little bit of a slimmer build, but by no means are they like a narrow fit. I would say they still fit pretty true to size, although it does say on the website if you do have a wide foot to go up half a size, so that's something to consider as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've worn these around the house a few times and I just don't know if I love them. So I did buy them and I will be doing a little video, so sneak peek into my opinions, but that is the next thing I got. Okay, and now we can finally jump into all of the clothing items I have in here. So in no particular order, let's just go through them. The first item I got here are the Align shorts. These are the high rise six inch length in iron blue. I have this color in the leggings. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think it is a great neutral that actually goes with a lot of items and I've been wearing my iron blue aligns a lot. So of course I had to pick up the Align shorts when these dropped because I think these are going to be great for summer, some summer walks, just hanging out with the baby. So I got a size four in these and that's it's pretty true to size for me now postpartum I'm sizing up to a size four I used to be a two but I'm just finding the fours fit a little bit more comfier right now so that is the first clothing piece I got all right next up is a pair of leggings I've actually already worn these several times because I just could not wait and these are the washed mauve wonder unders they now come in the smooth cover fabric if you aren't familiar they kind of reinvented the wonder unders now I would say that these are pretty much nothing like the original wonder unders in the Luan fabric these are much different because the seams are a little bit more like of a curved seam if you're familiar with the base pace that they had a little bit more of that design it does have a matte logo on the back here it does have the one waistband pocket and these are a little bit more held in than aligns not compressive by any means it feels like you're wearing legging where aligns are supposed to be more of that like naked sensation i would also say that these are a little bit more durable than the aligns however they will attract pet hair which i feel like is a 
number one question I get about these leggings is that if they will attract pet hair and lint and yes they will because it still is a brushed soft fabric. For me I don't have pets so that's not really a problem and I love these for being a mom because you're always on the ground and <laughs> chasing a baby, picking them up and it's just gives me a little bit more peace of mind than having to worry about like pilling my lines and stuff. So I have converted to the Wonder Unders for now. I absolutely love them. I love the way they fit on me personally. And you could technically work out in these. I just choose to wear them day to day and that's what really works for me. So I got a size four in these and that's true to size as well. Okay, staying on the theme of pants and bottoms. These are the Belgian Blue Align Super High Rise. I got a size four again. I feel like most of the stuff is going to be like size four in bottoms because that's now my new size. But I love the Super High Rise, especially if you are expecting. These are the best things ever to still fit over the bump. I think I was in these until I was like seven or eight months pregnant. But also at that time, it just got too hot to wear like Super High Rise leggings and stuff. But these were great and I still love wearing them now. So when I saw they came out with a new color in the super high rise, I had to go ahead and snag them, you know, for maybe one day a future pregnancy or whatnot, then I have like another pair. But Belgian blue is such a pretty color. This is kind of the comparison between iron blue. Iron blue is really dark. This one's light, but not as light as chambray. If you're familiar with that color, it's like an even lighter blue than this. But again, I feel like this is such a great neutral that it's still gonna go with a lot. And for me, I really love the super high rise because I just feel like it comes up, it gives you a little bit more coverage so that I can wear a crop top or whatnot. Um, since I have a lot of those from pre-pregnancy, then this is going to give me the coverage that I need. And I just, I love this color. So that is the next item. Okay, in preparation for summer, I did pick up one more pair of shorts and these are the inner glows in Mohan have a tan. I got a size two in these, which is technically a size down from like my legging size, but I do find when I size up to a four that the back gets like really loose and too cheeky. So I do size down one size from my legging size. These are technically still one size up from my pre-pregnancy size. I used to get a zero in these, but they're a little bit tight in the waist, not as comfy. So I did want to get one pair that is like a true fit for me because I feel like I'll just feel more confident and comfortable in them. And I absolutely love this Mojave tan color because again, it's a basic neutral. It's a staple. It's going to go with pretty much everything in my closet. And these are great for summer. I love wearing them like around the house casually as well. And then they're cute enough to go for a walk-in. They're also a great like beach short type thing, like a little cover up. And they are made from a French terry material. So they're not going to be too heavy. They are a little bit more on that lighter weight side. So that's also great for summer. I have several other colors of these and I've absolutely loved them. I really missed not wearing them last year when I was very pregnant. So I'm excited to have a new pair and style those for the summer. And then I also got a new skirt. This is the lightweight high rise tennis skirt in strawberry milkshake. I got a size four in this. And you guys, I am telling you that this is my new favorite skirt from Lululemon. I used to be a Pace Rivals stan, but honestly, I'm not about that mid rise. And I do find the shorts in the Pace Rivals fit very tight and kind of give you sausage legs. And it's just not comfy. Like the liner actually like digs in to my legs where like the grip is, but these ones fit so much better you guys plus it's high rise so I feel like you can't go wrong with that and I I'm obsessed with the color strawberry milkshake they do have a few other colors right now on the website white and black included so I think I'm going to pick up the black one next because I am just obsessed with the way that the skirt fits it's going to be perfect for like even a casual like day-to-day -day skirt but also really cute for golf and I am obsessed this is my little new favorite skirt from Lululemon if you are looking for a new skirt, then check this out. It's kind of a cross between, I feel like, the Pace Rival and the Court Rival because it is still like flowy ish, like the Court Rival, but not like too flouncy. I feel like the Court Rival is just like, I don't know, the shape. For me it's not great but this one still has a little bit of movement and flow to it but it's not like overly flowy if that makes sense i don't know but i'm obsessed with this i literally can't wait to wear it and i hope it gets nice soon so i have an excuse to wear this skirt
Okay, moving on in the haul. I actually only got one top apparently in this entire haul. Um, but this is a new style. This is the Align Cami Tank and this is the cropped version. Again, we'll have a tan. I did get a size six in this, which I feel like, I don't know if that's even true to size or not, but whatever your Align Tank size is, I would say get the same in this one if you are interested in trying it out. The thing I like about this is that it has thin straps and they're also adjustable. With the Align Tank, they did update the style to have like thicker straps and I just really don't love the way that it looks and fits on me anymore with those thicker straps. But with the Cami Tank, I feel like that brings me back to kind of closer to the OG Align Tank where it's thinner straps. It doesn't feel like you're wearing too much. I don't know if that like, obviously like you want to feel like you're wearing a top, but like I just feel like the thicker straps really are compressive for me and kind of dig into my lats here where I really love that these are adjustable so that I can obviously fix that and so they don't cut in at all, but also giving like light-ish feeling, if that makes sense. I would say this is light support for A and B cups because obviously these spaghetti straps don't provide a ton of support. So if you do have a bigger cup size, potentially this might not work for you. But for me, I absolutely love it. They also make a waist length version. So if you want a little bit more coverage, something longer, that's also a great option. They don't have a ton of colors in that one just yet hopefully they're bringing out more because honestly i love this tank and i feel like i need to pick up a few more colors in it granted that my size doesn't change i am still nursing so i feel like it's a little bit of a gamble but for now this is a great tank and i really miss my aligned tanks and not being able to wear them through pregnancy and postpartum so far so this is a great alternative especially because they do have that thinner straps like i was mentioning it just feels a lot more comfy to me and i feel like it doesn't compress as much as like the regular line tanks so for me this one was a huge win i highly recommend checking it out all right continuing on with the theme of new items at lululemon the next thing i picked up is this new scuba oversized hoodie this is pretty much the exact same as the oversized half zip but it just doesn't have a zipper it is a true hoodie style pretty much all the same features as your scuba. It is kind of the same lightweight fleecy material on the inside. It has the thumb holes here and then the logo on the hood. The only difference is that it doesn't have a zipper. So I got a size extra small, small, and this is the color Dahlia Mauve or mauve, however you'd like to pronounce that. Personally, I actually really like this style because I feel like I have not reach for my half zips as often. I don't find them as comfy right now, especially like trying to nurse, just having like a zipper there. So I actually really like that they came out with a plain hoodie version. So I wanted to grab this and try it out and I'm really pleased with it. it like I said, basically fits the same as your regular scuba oversized half zip. Um, the only difference would be the zipper part. So highly recommend also checking this out if you aren't a huge fan of the zipper part. Same scuba detailing and all that stuff. And yeah, it's super comfy. I love it. And last, but very not least, an item I got on Markdown actually, and that is the Loungeful hoodie, another hoodie. These are my favorite hoodies though from Lululemon because they are thicker and cozier. And I do find that this one is a little bit more like stretchy and flexible than the scuba hoodies. So for me, the Loungeful is probably my top hoodie from Lululemon. I did get a size four in this, and this is the Heathercore Ultra Light Gray color, which if you've known me here, this is my favorite color from Lululemon. This is like my most worn neutral. I have so many things in this Heathercore Ultralight Gray. So I feel like you can't go wrong. And when I saw it on Markdown, of course I had to snag it. I am kind of sad that they didn't bring out more colors in this. I did snag Riverstone earlier and that did end up selling out so it's not available anymore but they marked down the gray and the black so i don't know if we'll see these hoodies return if it is still left in your size on the website i highly recommend grabbing one these are just so comfy so cozy and for me i don't know it's just like the perfect hoodie I love it. And that brings me to the end of this gigantic collective haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Lululemon content and hit the notification bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Leave me a comment down below on what your favorite item you've picked up from Lululemon so far. If there's anything you want me to try as well, let me know down below because I'm always 
so curious to try out new product from Lululemon and give you guys a review. So if there's something you want to know more about, leave that down below in the comments and maybe it'll be in my next haul video. And thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.